Welcome back to Omni Garage. So we've just had another shipment from um, Nick Detailing Shed, who has also paired up with G-Technic to supply us with these products in here. So we're going to unbox them and, and talk through them. Yeah, so pretty much it should be all G-Technic products inside here, except I think Nick might have chucked in a couple of extra goodies for us. So Ooh. we'll go from the top and see what we've got. So my favourite part about unboxing these products is um, just seeing what's in there and um, I get so much enjoyment of buying these products online, waiting for them to ship and um, having a feel with the products, that's, that's the most exciting thing for me and yeah. um, as a byproduct of that we end up with a couple of clean cars so that's pretty awesome. Sure do, it's nice turning up home after seeing the notification on the camera that a box is sitting at the front door, it kind yeah. of gets you eager to get home from work and, sure does. and get to it. It's so, really exciting. So we've got a couple of um, couple of shirts in here, these are, are uh, detailing shed shirts so they might uh, make a feature in another video. Yep, so the, we'll, uh, we'll um, have these on the channel so that um, we get Nick's detailing brand out there so you guys can um, have a look at those. So we've got a couple of um, couple of microfiber towels in here. I believe these are G Technic branded. Yeah, they are. Look at that. So G Technic micro, microfiber towels, um, yep. and these feel like a um, pretty low GSM. So this is probably going to be good multi-purpose cloth for um, for various uses. Yeah. Well, you know, you could use these for coating removals and stuff. So the G Technic logo is embroidered in there. So that's that's really nice. Yeah, it's a nice touch on those. So the um, the, I guess the main event in the box here is we've got a few different ceramic products from G Technic which we're really keen to try out. Um, but we've also had a few other products that we've never had an opportunity to test out before. Yeah. Um, either a, a completely different product line to what we've used before um, or different takes on products that we've, um, we've previously used. So the first one here would be W6. So this is an iron and general fallout remover. Yeah. So um, when you're going through your decontamination step when you're cleaning your car, um, you go through, you do a mechanical decontamination, you might use um, clay bar or nano skin auto scrub for example, and then you spray on your iron remover and that will help remove any of the iron particles. So that's sort of one of the last sort of steps in the decontamination process. And these iron removers are all pretty much the same. We have previously used the CarPro Iron X and um, so really interested to have a go with the GT. They've one. all got a really, really distinct smell. I can smell well. it already. Ooh, that smells exactly... Smells exactly the same as all the other ones we've smelled and had a go with, so... Yeah, they're not pleasant, but they do a great They're not job. pleasant, but they remove iron, so that's that's what you need to happen. Next one we've got in here is C2 Liquid Crystal. So this is a um, this is a product that I've never tried before, um, no. and this is version 3 of Liquid Crystal. So what do we what do we know about Liquid Crystal? We've got a G-Technic um, book in here, which is... Um, so actually... these, these G-Technic catalogs are really good because they have all the products in here, they tell you all about the products, what they do, and um, it's sort of set out in a nice nice process there for you to follow along with. So what product is that one? Uh, so it's Liquid Crystal. So I think the Liquid Crystal is kind of like a spray-on kind of, not a coating, but not a wax, somewhere in between, and I think it's a bit like the Meguiar's Fast Finish that we used on the uh, Blue WX um, a few videos back. So I think it's a spray-on, wipe-away type of applicator, but yeah. I will just double-check that. It's a nice, quick, easy option. I think it's spray-on, wipe-off. That's um, it's that here. And it's 250 mils that we've got there to test out. And that says that it will give you sort of six to eight months durability, which I'm guessing is kind of like the Fast Finish. Um, Yep, simple and fast application, spray on and buff. So exactly what I just told cool. you. It'd be a nice one to give a go on, on yep. the vehicles. So if you're new to sort of applying coatings, etc., that's probably a good place to start. You can't go wrong with that. You spray it on, wipe it off. Yeah. And yeah. it's going to give you some, some good durability there for sort of eight months of the year. So not a bad place to start. Yeah, and you could probably use decon soap and remove that quite easily versus ceramic coating where you are going to have to, um, to polish it off to remove it if you, uh, yep. if you make a mistake along the way. So then we've got a few different products here. This is um, what I'm quite excited to test out. So this is uh, G1, which is a glass coating. We've yep. never had a glass coating. Never had a glass coating. So um, putting on the glass coating, hopefully that's going to create some nice water behavior on the glass. And hopefully that's going to, when you're driving along, the water's just going to repel off the glass. So you don't have to use your wipers as much. So interesting to see what kind of durability we get out of that product and, and see how easy it is to apply and um, see how that works. So that's yeah. interesting. The only one we've used previously is, um, other than applying bead maker on windows, is uh, what's the product called? Rain-X. Rain the yellow bottle. You'll yeah. see it in all, uh, all auto stores pretty yeah. much. And that fails really quickly. So it's going to be nice it's to try. It's sort of yeah. a DIY's kind of range. And um, that Rain-X smudges. It's quite hard to apply yeah. and doesn't last very long. Yeah. So interested Lovely. to see how that glass one works. The other one we've got here is, uh, so this is C5 wheel armor. So what we've got inside here, this is the first of the ceramic type products we've got. We've got a, this is a 30 mil bottle. 
basically this is a ceramic which is specific for the wheels on your vehicle so actually this isn't a 30 mil sorry this is a 15 mil um, so that will get you around all four wheels yep. of the car and make maintaining those really, really easy. So in the last detailing series, we used CSL and XO on the wheels. So now we're going to use this wheel armor and, and, and compare that and see how well it works. So that, that's the first product for us. A specific wheel coating. Yeah. Then we've got a couple of uh, couple of bits and pieces in here. So obviously if we're, um, we're dealing with ceramic coatings, we, um, we obviously need some kit to go with it. So you see we've got some sprayers here um, and a microfiber applicator for the two bottles here. Um, but when we get into the likes of this here, which is a, um, this is a applicator pad for, for yep. a ceramic coating. So we've got some different options as well in the, um, in the suede applicators. And these are suede applicators, so you, what you do with these is you put your little few droplets of your, your coatings on here, and you use your applicator block and you go around and you apply your product like that. So yep. when you're applying your, um, your ceramic coatings to products like these, these, these sponge type, they sort of absorb a lot of the product and you end up wasting a lot of product in, in this absorption. So the suede applicator is, is perfect, so it helps you manage the amount of product that you're using, so that's yeah. really handy. And it looks like we've got probably a good 10, maybe a dozen there, so that should get us around yeah, easily three vehicles because you're only using three to four. And those suede applicators are, pr are pretty cheap to buy, so once you've used one, um, you just throw them away. You know, yep. it's, an, it's an inexpensive um, piece of kit there, so highly recommend using those for your coatings. Sure is. And then we've got a, um, a little glass, um, so this is like a, a glass polishing pad that you use pre-putting um, the glass protectant on, so the, the G1. So yep. good combination there to get the windows nice and clean, get them prepped before you apply your glass uh, your glass coating. And we've got a tire brush here. So this kind of looks like the Tough Shine tire brushes that you've seen in a couple of our other videos. These things are really good. They're pretty cheap, highly valuable um, piece of equipment to have. They, they're the perfect, the, the bristles here and, and, and the brush part is a perfect whip just to go right around your tyre. That helps remove all the dirt and all the yep. grime on your tyre before you add your, your wheel shine stuff. So these are really good. Yeah, so pre-putting uh, something like pearl on your tyres yep. or, um, or any kind of tyre dressing, give them a real nice clean up with, um, with that brush there. Next, throwing in a couple of little goodies. So we've got the, the G-Technic sticker. Yeah, we've also got some G-Technic sunglasses. So again, when you're, uh, when you're ceramic coating a vehicle, Always wear the G Technic Sunnies. Always. Yep. Yep. Keep so that, your, those are a nice keep. few little bonuses in there. So thanks, Nick, for those. And then we're down to the um, to some of the goodies, the products that we we're really yep. excited to see here. So this is the this is the money end of the deal. This so is. this is really exciting. So I think this one here is um, in in order. This would be this is C1. Um, so this is G Technic's I guess entry level ceramic coating. So this yep. one offers up to three years durability. Uh, yeah, three years durability. And you, you apply that with your suede cloths and your applicator pads, just like you've seen in our other video where we applied CSL, you just apply it in the same way. And we've got this in a 30ml bottle here, so plenty to get around a, yep. um, a, a small to a medium sized vehicle. Uh, if you're doing a big SUV, you might want to go for the slightly bigger one, which is the 50ml. Um, and, then in, and that looks like there's a droplet on the top there. Yeah, there is. So this is a droplet um, versus using like a pipette, yep. which keeps it nice and easy. So to, a few like, drops onto around. your pad just helps you manage manage the amount of product that you're using so you're not going to blow through that whole bottle. And you've got some instruction sheets in there as well um, and then one of the applicator pads that I'd probably recommend not using because yeah, you Yeah, use the suede ones, product. yeah. Because yeah. that just absorbs too much product and you're going to end up wasting a lot of it. So that's the first ceramic coating we've got in there. And then we've got another one. So this was, um, obviously G Technic have teamed up with, with Nick from Detailing Sheet to supply us all of these products to test yeah. out. However, we did purchase an additional product ourselves because this is tried and tested. We've used this on the STI before. Yep. Um, and, and I mean, this is a fantastic coating. Yep. This is our so this is CSL or Crystal Serial Light. So talk them through that one. Yeah, so this one offers up to five years durability. So in the lineup of products, it would sit after C1, um, but before Crystal Serum Ultra. So these, um, these two products here, um, this is available if you're in Australia or New Zealand, anyone can purchase this one here. You need to be accredited to sell, uh, to purchase Crystal Serum Light um, in Australia. In Australia. Yep. Um, but this is a product that we've used before, we're really confident in applying. It's gonna be really interesting to test the differences between these two here. Yep. Um, in terms of, you know, a durability, we know it's advertised as three years and five years, yep. but it's gonna just be interesting to see any other, um, yep. any other behaviors for dirt, for water. Um, and when we talk about water, that's the next product in the box here that I can see. So we have a bottle of uh, GTNIC XO here. Yeah, so this is XO V4. So this adds the, um, the hydrophobic layer on top of your ceramic coating. Yep. So I guess the way that it works is this again here comes in 
Um, comes in a little bottle, we've got some gloves in there which is handy for applying. Again, one of the uh, applicator pads we're probably not going to use. But this here is in a 30ml bottle. And what you want to do with this after you apply your ceramic coating is go around the vehicle and apply two coats of this. And, um, and the water behavior, once you've applied this, is, is, is really like good. You've never seen. It helps with drying as well. So when you've got your, your blower on your car, it just blows all the water off, makes drying really easy. And then when it rains, the water just basically sheds right off the car. So that's a really great topper for when you're applying these types of coatings. Yeah, I mean, you could probably apply EXO by itself. Um, I mean, yeah. it'd be quite interesting to try that on a panel just to see the yeah. water behavior yeah. as opposed to in combination with one of these products here. So that's um, that's pretty much everything that we've got we, here. We do uh, have, a, have a G Technic wash guide. So this G Technic booklet is really cool. It goes through sort of step one right through to the last step and it tells you how you should clean your car and, and the particular process that you should follow. So if you're new to clean, this is a good book. Mixed with this little hand guide here is a good combination to get you started. Yeah, I think if you're a detailing company and you are wanting some inspiration as to how to lay out your products and market them, I loved reading this. I yeah. sat down, absolutely, had a read through there, and yeah. I've got a really good understanding of GTM's full product line. And it shows this, then this, then this, and it has all sorts of guides in there around yeah. what steps to take. And there's to apply. lots of information on the products, and it's just a great little catalog. Anything that has a catalog is really good for for buyers to have a look at and see yeah. what they're getting. So where to from here? Basically, what we're going to be doing is over the next uh, probably four, five, six months, we'll be testing out all of these products on a range of different vehicles. Yep. I guess the culmination of that will be the full detailing series on uh, on yep. your blue WRX. Yep. So that's going to happen in the late half of September, early October, yep. and um, we're going to get right into it and, and polish the car and hopefully get that paint in some top shape. Yeah, absolutely. So I think the first product you'll probably see us trying here um, will be on a, a vehicle that we're coming up in the next few weeks. Yep. We will be applying C1. We'll try that out. Um, and we'll try out some of these here. So we're going to try liquid crystal. We'll try the iron and fallout remover. Yep. Um, and before we uh, we work our way up to September's full detailing series where we bring out the uh, the tried and tested combo of CSL and yep. XOV4. All right, so once again, thanks G Technic for supplying these um, these products to us and, and, and Nick at Detailing Shed. If you're interested in buying any of these products, you can head over to Nick's website, detailingshed.com.au, and you can purchase them through there and he'll, he'll deliver them out to you. Um, if you've got any questions, you can drop Nick an email or you can write in the comments below. We're happy to help you out. So make sure you hit the subscribe button because of, as you can see here, we've got a whole lot of G Technic specific content to come. And if there's anything that you want us to test with these or anything you want to try, drop us a comment. We'll, um, we'll find out from either Nick, from uh, G Technic themselves, or we'll just give it a go yep. as, uh, as your instruction. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Yep, thanks.